Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Millicent, as you should be knowing already, and this is my channel. So on today's video, we're going to talk about age and goals. I don't know how to title it. I just know that I have so much that I want to share about this topic. So I'm just going to dive into it and we will find a topic later or I'll just upload the video and say title unknown. So um, I wanted to talk about how we create goals and we tie them to a certain age. And when we don't reach those goals at that age, we become frustrated, become demotivated and we think that we are failing at life. So I'm going to do what I usually do and give a background a story on myself so when i was in high school for me the age 25 was the it age it was the age where i was oh sorry guys the ring light will keep showing on my glasses as green i don't know why i still don't know how to operate a ring light properly with glasses on so anyway back to the story so for me in high school being 25 was the it age for me that was the age where i'll have my first car i'll have my first house i'll have my first child hell i thought i'd be married by now and now I am 25 years old. I don't have a driver's license. I can't afford to buy a house. And I'm not married or even engaged. I'm just dating. I do have a child who I had before 25. So a, a whole lot of things that were tied to the age 25 did not happen. At 25, some happened before 25 and some are obviously going to happen after 20, 25. So I remember my plan was that I would go to varsity, I'll graduate on record time, meaning I'll graduate when I was 21, but I only graduated when I was 22 because in the middle of my final year, as you guys may know, if you don't know, I will link the video up here to tell you it will share the whole journey of me not doing my final year properly. But thing is that I applied for a scholarship and I got admitted and I had to leave midday of my third year, which meant I couldn't finish my third year because in my final year, you have to do two subjects, advertising and communication sciences and experiential learning. And you need an X amount of hours for experiential learning. And with me being abroad mean meant that I could only do a certain number of those hours. And if I don't complete the max of those hours i could not graduate so in 2016 that's when i knew that the plan of everything being together at the age of 25 was not going to happen because already i'm not graduating at record time but i had to choose between going to the states and living my best life or being home and graduating on record time like graduating on record time is not like for me it's just one of those things it's not really a milestone for me you know because i've never felt great so for me graduating on record time for me has not it's not a big deal but it seemed like a bit so when i was young and the older i got I realized ugh, it's not really there's nothing special about it you know it doesn't help you get a job faster so when that happened in 2016 i knew that my plan to have everything figured out at 25 was not going to happen and i was okay with it and i'm thankful that i had the opportunity to go abroad for a period of 10 months and in that 10 months i met myself i met who millicent is i got to accept and learn so much about myself and it was sometimes it was so painful to let go of things that i grew up believing that that is who i am and that is who i was going to become and in the 10 months when i was in the u.s i learned so much about myself and i was constantly shocked by myself and i'm like wow because when i was younger a lot of my plans were tied to how do i put this i wanted to do i wanted to be the i wanted to firstly i wanted to like get my master's degree get my phd but i realized that i didn't want that so that i can impact my life or somebody's life i wanted that because it seemed like the successful thing to do so that's why i wanted to do it and when i was in the states i learned that success is subjective like what i define as success for another person is not success you know for some people just getting their matrix certificate in their village is a success because they're most probably the first person in the community to get that you know for some people to just have that one child for them is success because they've struggled so much with trying to conceive so i'm you know, i'm not going to downplay somebody's success based on a definition by somebody else you know so sub success is subjective and that's what i learned and that's when a whole lot of my plans changed i realized that i wanted to have a car at 25 because i thought that that's what is expected you know but then when i spoke to my older siblings they're like if you were to afford anything and if you were to make your first big purchase let it be property buy something that is more of an asset than a liability so i i learned a lot of things so what i i want to get to is that it's good to have goals 
and it's good to have a timeline but it's not necessarily good to tie it to a certain age because had i not had that mind-blowing that mind-changing experience of my life to say that i can achieve whatever that i want to achieve beside outside of the age 25 i would probably be now deep in depression i'll be so sad because i don't have half the things that i wanted to have by my age you know there are so many things that i had wanted to do by this age that i really don't have and right now they don't bother me so much like they don't bother me at all okay now i'm trying to do my learners for the third time the first time i did it and then i got pregnant and then i didn't continue because i was just so lazy and i didn't have money um the second time i wrote it i failed you know you have to get 26 28 and whatnot so i got more on one sec section and less on the other one so i got i failed my second test so now i'm i'm about to write my third one i'm not really sure when but i know that i have i'm planning on doing it this year so if i had tied my goals to my age that hard right now i'll be shattered i'll be i wouldn't be here because i would have felt like i don't deserve to be in a platform where i can share my life with other people because i'm a failure but then because i have learned that success is subjective i'm actually living my best soft life you know i thought at 25 i'll be rolling in cash right now i'm just a freelancer i'm not broke but i'm not rich i just i'm just able to um create a sustainable living for myself and for my child Guys, excuse my eyes if they're everywhere. Yo, they are struggling with glasses and a ring light and a camera. Oh, we guys, but we, I am able to do luxury stuff with my friends. You know, go out, be the girl. You know, I was able to use, I went for your eye test this week, one week, and the other week I was like, okay, let me get my glasses, you see. So that's where, um, like, the financial freedom for me, for now, I feel like I have succeeded in creating a life that I can maintain for myself and for my child. So, when, I, when you're at home and you're setting your goals, don't tie your goals to an age, rather tie them to a timeline. I remember my mentor gave me an activity to say, do a five-year timeline because when you do a one-year, there's so much pressure and when you when you, those things don't happen, you crash so bad, you don't know how to get up. But when you do it five years, you give yourself enough time to constantly take little steps to get into where you want to go so as you guys may know and should be knowing if you're a subscriber is that now my plan is to be a stay home mom slash stay home wife because we both know being married for me is like top tier top or achievement thing really teeny guys oh so my big goal is to be a stay home mom slash stay home wife and um breaking run my businesses you know for the fun of it you know i want to raise my kids and not miss anything out of their lives and right now what i'm doing i'm freelancing so i'm teaching myself the principles i'm teaching myself the tactics i'm getting the skills that i need so that i can succeed when that point comes right now i'm stay home mom because i don't go to work work is where i am now i'm home so home is my office if i go to the mall mall is my office i just do my work as long as i have wi-fi and my laptop or my phone and I work mostly on my phone. I don't know why. I'm so used to working on my phone. I sometimes forget that I bought a laptop, of which I regret buying. But it's good for reports. Anyway, so I have, I'm great. I'm doing all these small steps that are gonna lead me to the bigger picture that I have. That in the next five years, I need to be able to have bought a house. I need to have bought a car. I need to have like good savings and investment. You know, so yeah that's me but what i wanted you guys to understand is that it's okay to set goals but it's not okay to put pressure on yourself to achieve those goals it's pressure is not good i know a lot of us like saying i work well under pressure that's a lie you don't work well because you're anxious you are sweating now you're thinking of all the things that could go wrong and we don't want to think like that i remember in i think it's in lo classes or business studies classes i don't remember which one because the last time I was in high school was in 2013, but what they said, you have to set smart goals. I know there's something about measurability and you will search, you will Google what smart goals are, but that's what you basically need to set. What it means, it just means that you need to set goals that are practical and that you know you can achieve. Don't set up yourself for failure. Don't be actually saying, I want to have 10 million in the next three months. Like that is not a smart goal. That is a suicide mission. That is you applying for depression. That is you applying for anxiety. That is you applying for low self-esteem. And nobody is going to approve that application. So what you need to do is to set goals that are practical goals that you can achieve and you can get to easily. Another thing, guys, don't be scared to ask for help. And don't be scared to reach out to other people. 
like I said in my other video, get yourself a mentor or a coach or a sponsor to help you guide or to direct your energy and your goals. It's very important to live a purposeful life because because that helps you a whole lot. So if you guys heard anything from this video, is that don't tie a goal to an age because you will have constant anxiety attacks. I want to give a massive 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 shout out to one of my closest friends that i love so much my class she has made us so proud i used to drag her a lot i dragged her every single chance i got and i dragged her for a good reason so my friend it took her three years to figure out a course that she really loved and wanted to do and when she found it that course was dribbling her while showing her fires and flames and there were times where she wanted to give up on herself there were times where she wanted to like to speak down on herself and feel like she wasn't doing enough because her mates were buying houses cars getting married having more kids living their best lives and i would constantly drag her to say don't attach your goal to your age also like at the end of the day you ain't gonna quit you are gonna get that degree you're not you're gonna secure that bag and you are gonna be an attorney because I ain't gonna get married before you get your loan turned on you because you are gonna drop my prenup, you know. So I would drag her so much. And this past week, she wrote her last examination. Do you understand? After six years. So it took her three years to get um, the code that she liked. And when she found law, it took her. Guys, I'm lifting this, so let's start again. It took her three years. <laughs> and then it took her six years to finish her degree. So it took her nine years to finish a law degree that took you or somebody else three or four years. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she's going to become an attorney and she's going to drop my brain up. She's going to be doing up contracts for me. Obviously, I'm going to be here because I don't believe in charity, especially when it comes to work. Okay, I believe in charity and other things, but when it comes to work, Guys, to pay, so I want to give her a massive shout out and anyone else who did not give up when their goals do not go with the age with the perfect age. I want to say to you guys, big ups, you did such a great job. I am so proud of you guys, and I'm proud of myself for being able to know that success is subjective. That is one thing that I want you to take from this video is that success is subjective. I mean, I know my very own sister bought her first house and she's turning um, 32, 33. Yeah, my sister did something, but she bought her first house this year. So I need you to understand that age ain't got nothing to do with success. You can succeed whether you do it, you you get it, nini. But you need to start now so you can get it some other day. Don't wait. Don't say Millicent said it doesn't matter when. No, it matters when you start. It just doesn't matter when you finish unless an assignment because that has a deadline. But goals should not have dying dates. Keep reviving those goals. Keep revisiting your vision board and adjusting it to match up your energy. Adjust it to match up what you can afford at that time. And it's totally okay to take breaks. Sometimes life is overwhelming. For me personally, this year I took a break in August. I went to my parents' house and I was there for a whole month. I was chilling. I was literally doing bare minimum but i still got to score good clients you know why because in the months where i was working i put in the work and when i had when it seemed like nothing was going to happen when it seemed like it's not coming together when it felt like i need to give up this freelancing thing and go look for a job you know when god opens the floodgates and blessings just shower you and they hit you quack, 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 quack. look blessings have been slapping me slapping me because i've worked so hard i've prayed so hard and also my fellow christians prayer is not a recipe or a formula for success you need to put in the work and put in prayer and then you will see the results but praying alone ain't gonna get you nothing and if you read your bible you should know that okay guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next upload and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already click the like button leave a comment down below guys don't bring the comments to my whatsapp or my instagram dms please leave your comments for youtube on youtube thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next upload